stuff. Oh my god. Hi, baby. <laughs> what do you got for me? What do you got? Quite a bit higher. We're gonna we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Famous last words. Oh my god. That's something that was hard for me to get over, but the sooner you get over that, the better a trip will it's be. So true. Look at the color. Oh my gosh, it's so orange. Welcome to Oregon. Yay! Not a bad spot for a bathroom break. Uh, These pullouts no. are amazing. This entire coast is amazing. And magically, a dollar goes off the price of fuel as soon as you enter Oregon. Look how much farther we can travel. I shouldn't say as soon as you enter Oregon. As soon as you leave California. California. There you so, go. Magic. It's it just magic. <laughs> And we're sitting in here because it is crazy windy out there, so you can't hear us out there anyways. We'll continue this in the truck. It's like a calm. Like you get in here, it's like... <laughs> it's like this it's pretty windy out here. It calms down. It's windy, but it's beautiful. Oh my word. One of my favorite parts of coming down the coast when it's this windy is in the distance seeing like the sea stacks and the rocks and like when it's oh, so the, the waves and... just like shoot up yeah. over them. So <sighs> crazy. Very crazy, very dynamic, very amazing. Just mystical. <laughs> we love it. Magic and mystical, that's kind of like the coast. Yeah. Okay, so this is something we mentioned last time we were on the 101. I understand because we're doing it right now ourselves. It's not always feasible to start north and head south. Right. But if you can, if you can plan it, do the 101 heading south. seen a rock on the back of a truck. I wonder what that rock is worth. I don't know. Maybe there's gold inside of it. Oh. Otherwise it's like, I don't know, some sort of lawn ornament for some rich person. <laughs> That's huge. Who pays for a rock to be delivered to their house? I don't know, but I want to be that person. I, I want to just, have, just <laughs> take a truck and go bring me that rock. <laughs> Here, you know, bring me some leaves back from China. <laughs> Drove right up next to us. Where are you going, Big Rock? That's just crazy. Yeah, the truck's like, all right, what am I carrying today? <laughs> You're carrying a rock. Carrying a rock today, Jim. <laughs> Jim. Living the moment till I die. And I'm gonna change. Feels good to have the rig washed again. Um, yes. Basically, the last two weeks we've been on the coast, um, getting salt spray and, and everything else, and road tar, and we've been through road constructions. So it wasn't just about you know being clean because it didn't look terrible, but there was just a coating of salt, Film. and salt can do some serious damage Seriously. to your rig. Um, all the components, your suspension components, your frame, everything can start to rust. Yep. Um, that's one of the reasons why we bought this entire setup down south, because I, I knew, being from the northeast, yep. what the salt can do. So we just wanted to get it off. Um, so get it off. If you if you spend any kind of time and you, you feel like there's any kind of salt on it, 
do yourself a favor, it. rinse it. Yeah. And don't just rinse what you can see. Get down low, get the suspension, get the frame, get underneath and rinse it really good. You don't have to scrub it. You just, just try to rinse, rinse it off. It off. Yeah. So that's all we did. We just did a quick wash, my normal pre-treat. I use Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner. If you don't have that, you can just use a, a degreaser. Yeah. Um, and I just pre-sprayed like the bugs in the lower sections that got a bunch of the road tar and the rims and the bugs on the front of the RV. And we just power washed it off, washed it after, pulled it forward so we could get the back of the RV yeah. and dried it. Those like self, self-serve self like RV and car washes are really great. We yeah. work pretty good together. If you tag team with another person, I mean, you can get through there pretty quick. I don't know, I don't know how long we were there, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Not but, bad. but got most of the rig done. It, it needed more than that, but I just wanted to get it rinsed off. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if you noticed, and, and we're making fun of me that I had a blower in the, <laughs> in the RV. I thought I was only buying that to dry the rims and dry the front grill, where it's the honeycomb. Like it'd be impossible to dry that because you never know the water that you're gonna find on the road, whether it's hard or soft, or if right. it's got a water spot, which it, almost everything almost water always spots. does. So yeah. You always want to dry. So I don't, you probably saw we use a squeegee as well. It's the faster blower is it seems. not just for oh the, my drying gosh. the rig. We blow our stairs off every single time yep. we're closing it up. Just close those up into the RV. Right. If you if you have anything on it, it goes in the RV. It goes in the RV. And they're hard to sweep. So it's really hard Anyways, to sweep. It's fantastic for that. Corey's like gotten fires going really well. With it. Oh <laughs> like, just so many uses. There are so many uses for it. <laughs> it feels good to get the stuff off because it was doing damage. You saw in San Francisco how fast, like that was a brand new hitch. Yeah. And how fast, you it was know, like a just day. a day that it started to rust it. Yeah, it's nuts. This is that corner that we almost got hit with that truck. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Right here, right here, pull over. is so beautiful. It really is. So we are heading to Newport. Uh, Newport is a really good launching point. Uh, we're coming up from the south, so we passed Sea Lion Caves, we passed Heseta Headlight, which we stopped at before. It's an amazing spot. It's got RV parking, a massive beach with caves to explore, oh my gosh. And, then, and then the headlight itself just kind of perched up. It's just an amazing, just an it's amazing just place. just beautiful. And then Cape Perpetua, uh, that's got Devil's Churn and Thor's Well. And it's, all kinds of other like elements, just, like there's just so many places for you to stop. And it's like in such a short distance. There's so much that you can see. Yeah, we're 30 see and, like, just, minutes probably right, south 30 of minutes. Newport. And, and we got to see all this when we were coming down from Alaska in season two. It was just yeah. like so neat. And then it, above Newport is Yaquina Headlight. And Yaquina is just one of our favorite places just because so cool. I have some of my favorite footage from there. Uh, we saw the whales. You look right over the edge of the cliffs right at Yaquina and the whales are right there. I mean, at the time of the year we were there. Right. Was, uh, what was that, October? Yeah. So I don't know, I don't know if they're gonna be there this time. I hope they are. But the <laughs> yeah. footage I'm referring to is, I got footage of them, you know, spouting off in the right angle of the light, and it was just causing a rainbow. I mean, it was incredible. It was pretty awesome. These gray whales were so, so cool. And then only a couple minutes north of that is Devil's Punch Bowl, and that is a cave that the roof fell in right. on. So you can go at low tide, you can go down in it. It's incredible. It's, it's just incredible. really, really amazing. So there's a ton to do in this area. So we are heading to Whaler's Rest, which is a thousand trail just below Newport. Yep. So It's right in the middle of all of it. So it's such a good launching point. Yeah. 
right there is perfect. And I just need to make sure we get the slide all the way back through. After it being rainy pretty much since we've gotten here we're leaving this morning and it looks like the sun might actually come out it's rained miserably the whole time we've been here but we had work to do so oh yeah I mean, it didn't really matter and we've been here before i am really realizing how lucky we were the first time we did oregon in washington yes. in the coast of california because it was sunny the entire Time. Totally different season though, so yeah. maybe for for us, we found that fall was definitely the best time to be doing the. Coast. But everybody says fall is terrible, but it it for doesn't us, matter. It you just got to go when you can go, and That's right true. now it's not perfect. But we've been here before. Um, if we hedn't, we probably would have just gone out and explored anyways, because that's probably. just what you have to do. Sun's coming out as we're hitching up though, so there's a Who bright knows? side. Who knows? I, I don't think it's going to clear up. If it clears up, we're going to try to hit up uh, Devil's Punch Bowl. If not. We are going to restock. We're not heading far. We're heading up to Pacific City. Yep. Um, and it's we, a place we've not been That's a brand before. new place, and we are going to try to get out there. There's some cool. There's a cool state park. What's it called? I have no idea. Oh. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to go explore there next. Right, we're all restocked. It's not raining. I really want to check out Devil's Punch Bowl again. Um, it's low tide, or the tide is going out. So this place, I think it looks cool, but I think it's only really awesome when it's low tide and you can actually walk down to the beach and walk underneath the cave Into system. Into the bowl. Yes. Right. So it's low-ish tide. It's going out. So we're gonna do it. I think it's low tide and like two hours so I bet it's I bet it's low enough I'm, I'm excited this place is awesome Bigger mile turn left onto first street now the trick is is there gonna be parking is there gonna be parking it's it's a pretty big parking lot from what I remember but if there's a bunch of cars there we won't fit right we can pull through it no matter what though if you type in devil's punch bowl it's gonna bring you to the overlook what you want to do is you're gonna hit the overlook and you're gonna to wanna to park in the parking lot to the right. It's pretty obvious and that's how you get down to the beach. So yeah, it says no RV turnaround, RV parking ahead. Sweet. We are in luck, it is wide open. Sweet. So yeah, it's just a like pull through parking lot. So that you can yeah, just... look how, see how big yeah. it is? So we can just pull over here. I mean, we've been here before, so we're not gonna hang out here all day, so. You have to go to the right of the parking lot to get to the beach. So follow beach signs. As Lily pointed out, <laughs> beach, prohibited. What a bummer. I'm pretty excited about using the 360 down here. I'm the 360's curious. not for everything, but I think it's for this. <laughs> a little bit wow, of... Wow, the, uh, the trails had a little bit of erosion since the last time we were here. Holy cow. That's crazy. Huh. Oh, it smells so good. It does smell so good. Can we make it? Yeah. We can, yeah, we can make it. This is a lot higher tide than it was the last time we were here, I think. It is quite a bit higher. We're gonna we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Famous last words. Okay, there is definitely more water right now. This is pretty easy this way. No matter what, you have to walk across some water over around this corner. Yeah, there's like no way across. You have to get wet. That's what we did last time. No matter what, you're getting wet. Uh, your ankles, think, anyways, are getting wet. I you're realizing just how wet she's talking. I'm wearing jeans. I did it first, Dad. You oh, did do okay. it first. Now, where's a shallow part? Because there's a little... I think... <laughs> oh, there's seaweed in between my feet and my neck. No, it's deep good. Back. It's good, come on. It's not that deep. 
Now. Just I over here by that rock. rock but I didn't I didn't even get up to my knees. I lost my sandwich. You lost it? But I got it. Oh. But it was lost. Wait, where did you go? Just just walk across. Right here? Yeah, right here. Like right here. There you go. <laughs> you lost the sandwich. Just like Layla did. Okay, now take a step. There you go. All right. Here. Okay, walk up over here. Okay. Thanks, love. All right. Should be. There might be a little. Oh, they're in it already? Come on, let's go. You're not that wet. Come on. Okay, so the overlook is directly up there. Uh, when we didn't know anything, and I just went for it, I took a trail down here. Oh my gosh. And uh, I stopped because I was not taking that trail. And basically had to just run down this. It wasn't pretty. But I do not suggest coming down there. Yeah, don't, don't try to come down there. The yeah, let's just leave there. our sandals right here. We're coming. Beach left. Yeah, it's all rocks. rocks. Wow. Don't be slippy, don't be slippy. Oh my god. Wow, there's like. That like orange algae is like still up on. This was all sand. It was all sand. This was all sand last time we were here. Is that nuts? Careful. This is good right here. Come, come this way. Honey, I just want to go around. That's slippery That's right high. there. Okay. All right. Here, I'll hold your hand. Okay. That is so slippery. This is one of the times you want to step on barnacles. They're your like guaranteed grip. It was so much more high with sand. I gotta remember it being close there. And that hole was really small. The tide, the ocean just changes all the time. Look at the colors. Oh my gosh, GoPro's blowing it out, but it's so orange. Oh, Layla, look out! <laughs> I, I could run. I'm gonna die if I run. Mine's gonna get wet. Oh man. Alright, let's take a let's get our selfie. Everybody gather. This definitely proves the point that you always go back to places, even if you've been there before. This looks completely different. Oh my gosh, it's completely different. It's crazy. Like the, the ocean is so strong, it just yeah. drug out tons and tons of sand. I mean, come on, look at this. It's incredible. I know, it's so amazing. Oh my gosh. Got it. Oh, oh my gosh. So cold. Can you make it into the cave, Look at them. Can you make it into the cave? Can you see all those crabs? It's starting to rain. Rain's coming. Check out the starfish. 
starfish. All right, we got a starfish. This gets me so excited to start exploring the Oregon coast. the Oregon coast. All right, let's get back to the truck because it's raining now. This is so fun. There's just like mazes through the rocks to walk through. Okay, let's go find our sandals. All right. I'd say oh, a successful second sandals. trip to uh It's Dulles. just incredible. It's just... Punchable. It's incredible. Yeah. It's awesome. Worth the stop, girls? Worth it. Here's the thing. It's worth the stop, and we've already come here already. Yep. And there's so many caves along this coastline. Not just here, the whole coastline yeah. is amazing. Look at this green. Oh my gosh. So I would say an hour and a half before low tide, you're probably pretty good. Yeah. But be prepared to get a little bit wet. Yes. You're on the ocean. Be prepared to get wet. <laughs> That's hard. Did you hear that? Doosh. We don't know what it is. Huh. Some sort of creature, but it won't move. Neat. There's like little tiny anemones like across this whole thing. I love anemones. We need to go diving someday and find Nemo in an anemone. Okay. That's a good goal. Look at this smart thing. The challenge is just made. You get you? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one, Layla. All right, you ready? All right. There's so many Look at go across this. the divide. Look at this, like, bright green over here. It's so amazing. It looks like spray paint. Oh, so much better than last time. It's like green grass, like just a little slimier and slippery. What? This is so creepy. Oh my gosh. Oh, great jump. Great jump. Okay, Corey and the girls are very short footed. I am not so much. So I usually find my own path, and I'm usually far behind them. What are you doing? I'm gonna have like a half an hour of 360 footage to edit. It's gonna be worth it. If you lose your footing, look ahead for like a patch of barnacles right there. These That's are like built-in grip tape. This is nuts. This trail came all the way off and all the way down. Inside. I've got to go inside and change. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hello. What do you got for me? What do you got? <laughs> oh my gosh, how beautiful they are. Always you're worth the stop. The first street. Always worth the stop. And if you're like me, and you're like a point A to point B guy, when you get on the road, you're making time. Yeah. You gotta. You can't stop, or you're gonna. You're gonna just kill the efficiency. Right. Um, that's something that was hard for me to get over, but the sooner you get over that, the better a trip will it's be. It's so true. Just these small deviations are are what makes RV, what makes travel, just, just being spontaneous. Um, and especially, it's always, but especially along the Oregon, Washington, California coast, because there are so many stops. Try to plan it in, that like, you're gonna at least stop once in every i don't know every hour to two hours yeah just for whatever just to we were gone for what half an hour uh maybe, maybe an hour by the time we're you know it was an hour total probably but i mean but, there's a decent hike down there i mean it would probably hiked about over a mile oh yeah I'm taking a left here taking a left here yeah so if you were like me um the sooner you can get over 
like breaking up a trip and needing to go from point A to point B. Yes. The sooner you can get over that, the better. Ah, the better it's going to be. It's so yeah. amazing. It is always. And I'm not even up. cured yet. Like, <laughs> no. You get me on the highway, and I'm like. He wants to get it done. You gotta get going, but. And there's there's a piece of that that's understandable for sure. And I think there is part of the fear of, you know, towing something and not wanting to deviate, but we use Google Maps all the time um, to make sure that we can fit. And then you look at what, what if someone was here, is there a second way I can go? Yeah, exactly. So you have your backup plan. So if, if you, you say, oh, if there's a bunch of cars here, it's not gonna work. Can I still get around? So you make sure you have your your exit strategy too if, if your first plan doesn't work. I don't know if that makes sense, but <laughs> Google Earth is amazing. It really is, it really is. So the number one tip is make sure you take the time to stop when you're in Oregon, make sure you Google Earth it and, and that you can fit and then have a backup if you, know, you wanna stop. I think we have about another hour up to Pacific City. Yep. Don't, yeah, there you go. Keep going. We don't want to get too close because the slide's got to come out and there's a tree over here. Keep coming. This way. This is going to be our issue with the slide. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Stop. The sights are sweet. Wow. Look how huge this is. Awesome.